Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Hello friends, welcome back to the sequence of the synthesis of the medicinal compound. Today we are going to discuss the synthesis of Devocaine. Devocaine is the local anesthetic. First thing, this is the local anesthetic. Devocaine is the amide derivative. This is the amide derivative. And the synthesis of, if you talk about the synthesis, then synthesis of Devocaine start from the exciting compound. What is the exciting compound? In the exciting compound, we have first six member benzene ring with five member ring here with the dione. Here we have H. Now this is the exciting. This is the exciting compound. Now this acetine firstly undergoes the acetylation reaction and this acetylation reaction carried out in the presence of acetic anhydride. Acetic anhydride CH3CO whole twice O. Acetylation. Here we carried out the acetylation. By the acetylation process we get the acetylated acetine compound acetylated acetine compound here here we have the dione and here we will get CO CH3 this is the acetyl group now this becomes the acetylated acetine now this acetylated acetine undergoes a reaction with sodium hydroxide and here sodium hydroxide mainly used for the rearrangement or cyclization. Here by the rearrangement process we will get by this cyclization reaction we get a new six membered ring. This is the synchronic acid Synchronic nucleus and the compound is here. We have at the two position we have the hydroxyl group. So here two hydroxy synchronic acid synchronic acid two hydroxy synchronic acid. Now this two hydroxy synchronic acid when reacted with the phosphorus chloride. PCl3 when reacted with the phosphorus chloride then what happened this both hydrogen molecule will get take removed out and here chlorine will be added and finally we becomes new intermediate here and here we have Cl as well as here we will have COCl. So this is the 2 chloro 2 chloro synchonyl chloride. This is the 2 chloro synchonyl chloride. Okay. Now this 2 chloro synchonyl chloride, synchonyl chloride reacted with diethyl. C2H5 diethyl ethylene CH2 CH2 NH2 diethyl ethylene diamine reacted with this compound and here we will get here we have chlorine group and here we will get C 
O and here we will get NH CH2 CH2 N and here C2H5 and C2H5 so this reacted with sodium butoxide NaO sodium butoxide butoxide means here we will have CH2 3 and CH3 means NaO CH2 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 CH3 sodium butoxide this is the sodium butoxide and here we have diethyl ethylene diamine okay when sodium butoxide reacted then this na sodium and this chloride will be removed out in the form of nacl and this will get added on here and finally we get our final product that is the dibucane and the structure of the dibucane will be like this Here we have CO, NH, CH2, CH2, and CS3. Sorry, C2S5. And at this position, this will get added O, CH2, CH2, CH2 and CS3. Now this is our final product that is the Dibucane. This is the synthesis of Dibucane. Thank you.